Phnom Penh International Airport IATA, PNH, ICAO, VDPP, Khmer. French, Aéroport International de Phnom Penh, is the busiest airport in terms of passenger movements and largest airport in Cambodia containing land area of 400 hectares. It is located 10 km nm west of Phnom Penh, the nation's capital. History Phnom Penh Airport's former name was Pachentong International Airport Khmer. On 6 July 1995, the Royal Government of Cambodia RGC signed a concession agreement with the French-Malaysian joint venture company Société Concessionnaire de Report SCA, to operate Phnom Penh, PNH Pachentong International Airport. In return for a 20-year concession, SCA 70% owned by Group GTM and 30% by Muhiba Masteron of Malaysia. Committed to a $100 million improvement program that includes the construction of a new runway, terminal and cargo buildings, hangars, installation of a CAT-3 level instrument landing system and associated approach lighting. The Berger Group was selected by the RGC to provide independent engineering services during the concession, to audit the design and to advise on the practicality and cost of the concession's proposed improvements. The Berger team also supervised the initial works to accommodate wide-body aircraft such as 747s, including asphalt concrete runway overlays, installation of new ILS, metrological equipment, runway lighting and generator and power systems, and construction of a new fire station, taxiway and turn pad extensions. Following the successful completion of the initial works, the Berger team provided design review and independent engineering services for the construction of a new 20,000 square meter square feet terminal building to accommodate growing tourist traffic. The $20 million terminal building includes four mobile aerobridges, over 1,000 auto parking spaces and VIP and CIP facilities. Facilities Overview The airport is at an elevation of 40 feet 12 meters above mean sea level. It has one runway designated 05, 23 with an asphalt surface measuring 3,000 by 50 meters 9,840 feet times 160 feet. The airport has two terminal buildings, one for international and one for domestic operations. Recently, it added a new facility for VIP service. The international terminal has four aerobridges built in 2003. Three more aerobridges were added during the passenger terminal expansion in 2016-2017. The airport's design capacity is 5 million people per year. Expansion In 2014, Cambodia Airports announced a $100 million project to expand the passenger terminals at Phnom Penh and Siem Reap International Airports to accommodate continued strong passenger growth. The project saw the extension of the parking lots and terminals, more check-in and immigration counters, and new baggage handling systems. Additionally, the commercial areas were enlarged to allow for more retail shops, new restaurants and food and beverage outlets, and mezzanine lounges to cater to first class and business travelers. The expansions will allow the airport to double its capacity to handle 5 million passengers a year from 2.5 million passengers. Topic: <laughs> Future replacement In January 2018, the Cambodian government approved a proposal to build a new airport to serve Phnom Penh that will cost an estimated $1.5 billion. The new international airport will replace the existing Phnom Penh International Airport, with initial plans having the facilities being constructed on partially reclaimed land adjacent to Bung Chung Long, a large lake in Kandal Province about 30 km south of Phnom Penh. Cambodia Airport Investment, a joint venture 90% owned by Overseas Cambodia Investment Corporation OCIC, one of the country's largest real estate developers, and 10% by the government's State Secretariat of Civil Aviation, plans to invest the $1.5 billion to construct the new airport. 
The OCIC will invest $280 million, while unspecified foreign banks will provide $1.1 billion in funding. The OCIC will own 90% of the shares in the completed airport, with the rest going to the SSCA while the construction plans are still in the early stages of development. The 4F class airport will be capable of handling large long haul aircraft and will reportedly cover an area of around 2,600 hectares, which would make it one of the largest airports in the world. Topic International terminal profile total capacity, 2 million passengers surface, 20,000 square meters, 220,000 square feet waiting lounges, 2,000 square meters, 22,000 square feet VIP lounge, 500 square meters, 5,400 square feet food and beverage, 500 square meters, 5,400 square feet duty free, 1,000 square meters, 11,000 square feet seat capacity, 500 check-in counters, 32 visa, immigration and customs counters, 20 number of gates, 7 with airbridges, 10 with bus access baggage conveyors, 5 international car parking, 500. Topic. Domestic terminal Departure side Handling capacity domestic departures terminal, 1,000 passengers per hour. Floor surface Boarding gates Arrival side open space concept Floor surface Garden Total capacity, 1 million passengers per year Topic. Airfield Length, 3,000 meters 9,800 feet Width, 50 meters 160 feet Orientation, 50 degrees to 225 degrees QFU 0523 Pavement structure, bituminous overlay on a concrete base Perpendicular taxiways 30 meters or 98 feet wide plus shoulders 5 meters or 16 feet wide each, 5 Peak hour capacity, 20 movements taxiways Number of stands, 20 Concrete area, 50,000 square meters, 540,000 square feet, 10 stands. Asphalt area, 20,000 square meters, 220,000 square feet, 10 stands. Total area, 70,000 square meters, 750,000 square feet. Navigation aids and visual aids. VOR, DME, ILS, Medio. Topic. Airlines and destinations Topic. Passenger Topic. Cargo Topic. Statistics Topic. Ground transportation There are a few options to transfer to, from Phnom Penh International Airport and the city. Outside the arrival hall, passengers can take a taxi provided by the Airport Taxi Association, which costs between $12 and $18 depending on the destination. A cheaper alternative would be to connect to the airport's free Wi-Fi or buy a local SIM card with data and book a ride from Grab, the popular ride-hailing app. The trip costs somewhere between $2 and $12 depending on the destination. You can also take a new train shuttle run by Royal Railway Cambodia. The train will take you directly from Phnom Penh International Airport parking area to Phnom Penh Railway Station city center in about 30 minutes no stops during the journey and costs $10 USD. The train departs every 30 minutes. There is also the city bus 40 cents USD and an airport express bus $5 USD. Please take note that currently 2018 the traffic between the airport and downtown Phnom Penh approximately 9 km is very bad and can take anywhere from 30 minutes to 1 hour depending on time of day. Topic: Accidents and Incidents. 
On 3 December 1973, Douglas DC-3 XW PHV of Air Union was reported to have crashed shortly after takeoff. On 19 January 1975, Douglas C-47A Shu Hawk, Douglas DC-3 Shu Cal of Khmer Hansa and Douglas C-47A N-86AC of Southeast Asia Air Transport were all destroyed in a rocket attack on the airport. On the 22nd of February 1975, Douglas C-47A Shu Gaj of Khmer Hansa was damaged beyond economic repair in a rocket attack. On 10 March 1975, a Douglas DC-3 of Samaki Airlines was damaged beyond economic repair in a rocket attack. On the 11th of March 1975, a Douglas DC-3 of Khmer Hansa was damaged beyond economic repair in a rocket attack. In March 1975, Vickers Viscount XWTDN of Royal Air Lao crashed at Phnom Penh International Airport. The pilot was not qualified to fly the aircraft. All four people on board were killed. Accident aircraft also reported as XWTFK with a date of 15 March. On the 11th of April 1975, a Douglas DC-3, possibly XWPKT, of Soria Airlines was hit by shrapnel shortly after takeoff. The aircraft was destroyed by fire and two of the three occupants were killed. The same day, Douglas C-47B XWTFB of Air Cambodge was damaged beyond economic repair in a rocket attack. The 3rd of September 1997, Vietnam Airlines Flight 815, operated by a Tupolev Tu 134, crashed on approach to Pachentong Airport, killing 65 of the 66 passengers on board. The aircraft was entirely destroyed. The aircraft was flying from Ho Chi Minh City to Phnom Penh. The Tupolev was approaching the Phnom Penh Airport runway in heavy rain from 2,000 meters. At this point, the control tower ordered the pilot to attempt an approach from the west due to a wind pickup. The crew then lost communication with the tower, and three minutes later, the aircraft collided at low level with trees, damaging the left wing. The aircraft then slid 200 yards into a dry rice paddy before exploding. Pilot error was later identified as the cause of the crash. The pilot continued his landing descent from an altitude of 2,000 meters to 30 meters even though the runway was not in sight, and ignored pleas from his first officer and flight engineer to turn back. When the aircraft hit the trees, the pilot finally realized the runway was not in sight and tried to abort the approach. The flight engineer pushed for full power, but the aircraft lost control and veered left. The right engine then stalled, making it impossible to gain lift. See also Siem Reap International Airport Sihanouk International Airport <laughs>